Oh, hey man. Hey, Guillaume, how are you? You're pretty good. It's been a while. Long time no see. What are you up to these days? Well, started a new company. Super exciting. What do you do? Well, it's called Snack Attack. It's an AI agent that buys your afternoon snack. Of course. Now, that's super cool. Who are you building it with? Ah, uh, it's my friend, Yael. You know, he was over at Studio Ghibli and then he lost his job. I mean, we're starting something new together. Also, awesome. I don't know him. How can I help? Well, you know, I just got off the phone with Mark Andreessen. We're in the process of fundraising. Wait, I'd love to consider investing. Would you mind sharing some more information by email? Yeah, absolutely. Consider it done. Awesome. Well, I'm super excited yeah. for you, mate. Take care, man. This is great. Huh, nice guy. And wait, Mark Andreessen is investing? Who am I kidding? Of course I'm in. Or am I? All right, so I just bumped into Vivek. Nice guy. I kind of want to invest in his business. Thing is, I don't know who his co-founder is and I have no idea what the hell he's building. If you're an investor or anyone who wants to assess people and their ideas, you're probably asking yourself the same questions. Should I invest in this business? Is this the right founding team? The right founder even? And what does the market look like? What if you had some help? This is where Wordware comes in. I've built an app that allows me to assess ideas and people much faster and to help me to see it all. It allows me to speed up my decision-making process and to make decisions in a well-informed manner. By the end of the video, you'll have a good sense of how to use it. Feel free to replicate my flow and use it as is, or to make any edits you need for your own purposes. Let's dive into it, shall we? We've got the app right here. It's called Founder Assessment. And again, the aim is to feed it some information for it to process it, analyze it, and then churn out a recommendation as to whether to invest or not in this founder. So we're going to start it immediately. Actually, I need one input. That's the deck from the founder. So I can extract it right here. I'll download it. And then I'm going to press run right here and add some inputs. So we're talking about this founder. And I'll add the company name as well. The X user ID, I want the app to pass the entire internet, including X.com to extract information about the founder. And then we'll add the company URL. And lastly, we need to add the deck. So I'll just drag and drop right here. Let's add it. We can add a call recording. So imagine here myself and the founder Vivek having had a conversation. I could just record it and upload it. So we'll do this right now. And lastly, I can record some musings. So some thoughts about the founder and just allowing the app to really leverage my thinking as well. We'll get into it a bit more in a second and I can actually just record it from here. So. Vivek, I really like him as a founder. I think he's pretty phenomenal. My only concerns are around the co-founder and the idea. It seems like a, a pretty limited market we're looking at. I'll press confirm. And now we've got some another input, uh, my own thoughts that the app will take into account. Lastly, I'm adding my own email address. This is pretty important because that's going to form part of the outputs. I want the app to run, to make an informed decision and to then send me a report. I want it to do two things. Firstly, I want it to update my own database, my own CRM, which sits on Notion. This is one of our integrations. And I want it to add all of the inputs that I usually have for founders and for all of that to be added. La Secondly, I want the app to send me a summary via email and so that's why i'm adding my email address and actually that summary i wanted it into an audio format because that's much easier for me to listen to while i'm i'm on my way to work so will you use the 11 labs integration that we have we have about 2000 integrations here 11 labs notion hubspots you name it you can trigger actions from there and you can also push anything out there as well so we can extract information and we can push information which is pretty powerful so let's just press run now the app is going to start thinking so we're going to start with a task definition this is really just me telling the app prompting the app into understanding what it's meant to do and after that it's going to go straight into founder research so here really it's passing the entire internet 
to find information about Vivek and the, you know, what he's done in the past, who he is really. So we're looking at X, we're looking at LinkedIn, we're looking at websites, we're looking at news mentions, pretty much anything out there that's of interest. So now we've got the founder research. This is phenomenal, I mean, it's extracting a ton of information about the founder. It's looking at tweets from 2012, really, which is pretty amazing. And all of that information is going to be used by the AI to make decisions. This is the kind of work it would have probably taken me a lifetime to do. It's, be, it's done it in just a few minutes, really. It's remarkable. Now, we've done the research about the founder. And the second bit was really to listen to the call recordings that we had. So I've, as you remember, I've uploaded a recording of our conversation that is being looked at. And I've given the app some guidance as to what to look for. And really here we're focusing on EQ and IQ and the tone of the conversation to get a sense of who the founder is and how strong the profile is as well. Next up, we're looking at my musings. The app is taking into account my own thoughts about the founder, the idea, the markets, and it's using that to not necessarily inform its thinking, but at least inform the context. And we'll talk about that a bit more in a second. This is the beauty of Wordware is you'll probably want to tweak the app to make it fit your own interpretation of who a good founder is and what a good opportunity looks like. And you can do so very easily just by essentially typing it out. This is the beauty of you know, uh, building AI agents with natural language programming. So here it's looking at a ton of information. Yet again, we go back to the whole idea of humans not necessarily having a pretty large context window and, um, you know, having biases, all of the information here is being taken into account. It's pretty remarkable. And now we're looking at the deck itself. So now we're getting into the company. So it's taken the PDF, extracted all of the information, and it's looking at it and getting a sense of what the opportunity looks like and using that contextually to then go into the last part of the analysis, which is to look at the market context and competition. Are there better companies out there? What does the competition look like? Is this a good market to be in really? And out of that, we'll start going into an overall analysis. So now we're going to take all of that research and all of those individual thinking bits to now form a holistic idea about this founder, this idea, and that market. Here, as you can see, I've instructed the agent to make its own judgment. And this is the exciting part because I can get it to, I want it to reference my judgment, remember the thoughts that I've inputted, but I don't want that to direct the entire line of thinking. I want it to make, to critically assess my judgment and to determine whether it agrees with my judgment or not. And so that's the interesting part because I want it as an agent to operate like a VC analyst would operate. Um, I don't want it to say, oh yeah, yeah, you're right, absolutely, this founder is phenomenal, let's go for it. I want it to critically say, yes, but, or the other way around. And so now we're getting into the analysis. So I've given it a sense of what I like in a founder. And so it's given the founder a grading in terms of how high he scores on specific traits. So now we're looking at the starts of the output section. So this is where the app is going to do work for me. It's not only done the thinking, it's now updating my own system. And so here really what we're looking at is going into Notion. Uh, it's going to update my Notion database with the latest inputs. This is the work that an analyst would do. And now I can just go into Notion and look at it. And it's making a recommendation. It says, yes, let's invest in this founder. See, what's interesting here is it makes decisions, but it also critiques its own decisions to give me a final recommendation. So this is pretty important because it goes back to what we were discussing at the beginning. It's not only helping me make decisions much faster, it's also helping me make decisions in a much more well-informed manner with the kind of work that I could not have afforded. I could not have done all this work. I did not have time for it. It's done it for me. Lastly, it's creating a final recommendation and using our 11 labs integration, it's going to transform it into an audio file. 
read in a very organic manner. This is the power of 11 labs. And finally, it's going to send that by email. And that's very exciting because say I was home and I was on my way to work, I could just go and check out this new input and I can just see the recommendation for investments that uh, the app has sent for me and I can listen to it. Banking market fit, yes. Proven GTM and product experience at reputable tech companies, Notion, Stripe, Etsy. Intensity and resilience, seven to 10. Vivek likely possesses a strong founder market fit for a tech-enabled snack delivery service. And the last output really is the Notion database where I would have all of the founders I assess. And so here, as we can see, the app has added Vivek, the founder, it's added a LinkedIn URL as well for me to uh, check. And then we've got an overall score, which is an average of all those scores here, which are the things that we were assessing. So IQ, EQ, whether that person is exceptional, resilient, contrarian, has good leadership skills and found a market fits. And then we have a summary as well. So yeah, that's it for today. It's a pretty powerful app. The possibilities are infinite here. Feel free to use it, leverage it as it is for your own purposes or to completely edit it for, again, different needs. And uh, that's pretty much it. Have a good day.